Hello everybody and welcome to TOTS. TOTS stands for Tiny Ones Time and within the Pilgrim Parishes this is work for our younger children. If anyone doesn't know me, I'm Reverend Sue Hurley, one of the priests in the Pilgrim Parishes. Now, before lockdown, TOTS met on the first Sunday of the month in Stebbing Church at 3.30. Uh, we get together, we have lots of rhymes and songs and music making, a story, craft activities, and the adults have tea and coffee and yummy homemade cakes while the children have a play, and then all the children sit round for a simple tea together. You'd be very, very welcome to join us at any point in the future. Welcome to our fifth Tots at Home. What an odd year we're having, but hopefully we can maybe meet for a picnic together or something in October at least. But for today, Tots at Home. So grab yourself your instrument. If you haven't got an instrument, either one that you've made or one that you've got at home, maybe you could just put some pasta or something. I'd like this in a bottle or have a little tin with a spoon that you could bang, anything so that you can make a joyful noise when we get our instruments out later. So for now, come sit down, grab a cushion, make yourself comfortable and we'll begin. Are you ready? Okay, so let's start with our prayer. Are we ready? Little children, little children, come and play, come and play, come and say a prayer, come and say a prayer, here today, here today. Little children, little children, come and play, come and play, come and say a prayer, come and say a prayer, here today, here today. Well done. Now let's do twinkle, twinkle, little star, twinkly fingers and get ready with your lovely diamond shape. Are we ready? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Well done, everybody. How about Hickory Dickory Dock? We're thinking about all God's creatures and beautiful things in the world today. So let's think about that little mouse running up the clock. So are we ready for Hickory Dickory Dock? Ready? Hickory Dickory Dock. A mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. The mouse ran down. Hickory Dickory Dock. Let's do that again. Hickory Dickory Dock. A mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. The mouse ran down. Hickory Dickory Dock. Well done. And now let's do Incy Wincy Spider. So join your thumbs together so that it looks like you've got eight little legs like a spider. And let's get ready with our Incy Wincy Spider. Ready? Incy Wincy Spider climbing up the spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. So Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the spout again. Should we do that one more time? Ready? Incy Wincy Spider climbing up the spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. So Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the spout again. Well done, everybody. Now let's have another spider one, shall we? What about little Miss Muffet? She was scared of the spider, wasn't she? We don't need to be scared of spiders. In this country, all they can do is tickle us. So let's make our spider again for ready. And but Incy Wincy Spider, We've done. Now little Miss Muffet is sitting on her tuffet and we've got to have her eating her curds and whey. Ready? Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet eating her curds and whey. When along came a spider and sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Silly Miss Muffet. Should we do that again? Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet eating her curds and whey. When along came a spider and sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Well done. I hope you're not 
too frightened of spiders. I think they're probably more frightened of us, don't you? We're great big giants to them. Anyway, let's do wind the bobbin up, Jim's favourite. Are you ready, Jim? Ready? Wind the bobbin up, wind the bobbin up, pull, pull, clap, 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 and wind it back again, wind it back again, pull, pull, clap, 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 let's point to the ceiling, point to the floor, point to a window, point to a door, clap your hands together, one, two, three, and put your hands upon your knee, oh, wind the bobbin up, wind the bobbin up, pull, pull, clap, 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 and wind it back again, wind it back again, pull, pull, clap, 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 let's point to the window, point to the floor, point to the ceiling and point to a door, clap your hands together, one, two, three, and put your hands up on your knee, oh, wind the bobbin up, wind the bobbin up, pull, pull, and clap, 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 and wind it back again, wind it back again, pull, Pull and clap, clap, clap. Well done, everybody. Now, we haven't done this one for a little bit. Let's do one, two, three, four, five, once I caught a fish alive. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, then I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Go because it bit my finger so which finger did it bite this little finger on my right should we do that one again one two three four five once i caught a fish alive six seven eight nine ten then i let it go again why did you let it go because it bit my finger so which finger did it bite this little finger on my right well done should we do round about there ready round about there i saw a little bear a cat came and chased it right up there and the other hand around about there I saw a little bear a cat came and chased it right up there how about round and round the garden now ready round and round the garden like a teddy bear and one step two step and tickle you under there and the other hand round and round the garden like a teddy bear a one step two step and tickle you under there well done how about our goldilocks song now we ready for goldilocks going to the house of the bears and we need to do some really really loud growling when the bears come home okay so when goldilocks went to the house of the bears oh what did her blue eyes see the first thing she sees is the chair the chair that was huge a chair that was small a chair that was tiny and that was all she counted them one two three now she's going to see the balls when goldilocks went to the house of the bears oh what did her blue eyes see a ball that was huge a ball that was small a ball that was tiny and that was all she counted them one two three now she's eaten all the porridge she's going upstairs for the beds when goldilocks went to the house of the bears oh what did her blue eyes see a bed that was huge a bed that was small a bed that was tiny and that was all she counted them one two three get ready for the bears when goldilocks went to the house of the bears oh what did her blue eyes see a bear that was huge a bear that was small a bear that was tiny and that was all they growled at her Grah! Oh, oh dear, I think she ran away after all of that. You made lots of good bear noises, didn't you? Well done. Let's do five little ducks went swimming one day. 
I've just been over to the pond near my house and there are lots of ducks swimming today. So five little ducks went swimming one day. Ready? Five little ducks went swimming one day over the pond and far away. Mommy duck said quack, 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 but only four little ducks came back. Four little ducks went swimming one day over the pond and far away. Mommy duck said quack, 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 but only three little ducks came back. Three little ducks went swimming one day over the pond and far away. Mommy duck said quack, 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 but only two little ducks came back. Two little ducks went swimming one day over the pond and far away. Mommy duck said quack, 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 but only one little duck came back. Sing this sadly. One little duck went swimming one day over the pond and far away. Mommy duck said quack, 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 but no little ducks came swimming back. No little ducks went swimming one day over the pond and far away. So Daddy duck said quack, 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 and all the little ducks came swimming back. Well done, everybody. Daddy's big voice needed to call them from across the pond, didn't it? So what about the grand old Duke of York? We haven't done that for a really long time. Should we try that one? Oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Should we do that one again? Oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when when they were down, they were down, and when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Well done. How about you grab somebody's lap now and we can do some lap songs together, okay? What shall we do? Shall we do five little monkeys bouncing on a bed? Ready for a lap? Are you on a lap yet? Ready? Five little monkeys bouncing on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mummy phoned the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys bouncing on the bed. There were four little monkeys bouncing on the bed. One fell off and bumped her head. Mummy phoned the doctor, the doctor said, no more monkeys bouncing on the bed. There were three little monkeys bouncing on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mummy phoned the doctor, the doctor said no more monkeys bouncing on the bed there were two little monkeys bouncing on the bed one fell off and bumped his head mommy phoned the doctor and the doctor said no more monkeys bouncing on the bed there was one little monkey bouncing on the bed he fell off and bumped his head mommy phoned the doctor and the doctor said go and bounce on the sofa instead well done. Good bouncing, everybody. How about Humpty Dumpty now while you're on a lap? Ready? Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Should we try that one more time? Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Well done. How about down on the floor now in a partner for row, row, row the boat? And I need to find my crocodile. So you get down on the floor. Have you got somebody you can do row, row, row the boat with? Are you ready? I'll have to put my crocodile behind me, won't I, until the right time. Ready for row, row, row the boat? I'll have to do it one-handed, but you can do it with both hands. Ready? Row, row, row the boat gently down the stream. 
Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Now rock, 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 rock the boat gently down the stream. And if you see a great big fish, put him in your dish. Now row again, row, row, row the boat gently down the stream. And if you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. Ah! Did you scream loudly? I think you probably did. Should we do it one more time? Ready? Row, row. Row, row, row the boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Now rock, 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 rock the boat gently down the stream. And if you see a great big fish, put him in your dish. Back to rowing. Row, row, row the boat gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. Ah! I think that would make the crocodile run away, wouldn't it? So last one while you're on the floor, let's do wheels on the bus. Are you ready to pretend you're driving the bus? Are you ready? The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. Now the driver in traffic is going to say bother, bother, bother. The driver on the bus says bother, 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 bother. The driver on the bus says bother, bother, bother all day long. Now the nannies are going to do some knitting. The nannies on the bus go knit, 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 knit. The nannies on the bus go knit, knit, knit all day long. Now the babies are going to go wah, wah, wah in this one. The babies on the bus go wah, 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 wah. The children on the bus, the babies on the bus go wah, wah, wah all day long. Now the children of all getting very wriggly with those noisy babies. Ready? So to wriggle, the children on the bus go wriggle, 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 wriggle. The children on the bus go wriggle, wriggle, wriggle all day long. And the mummies are going to go natter, natter, natter. The mummies on the bus go natter, 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 natter. The mummies on the bus go natter, natter, natter all day long. Well done, everybody. Now it's time to get your instruments. Are you ready with your instruments? Ready for our instrument ma and music making? Are we going to start with, if you're happy and you know it, so get your shakers or your drums, whatever you've got, and make lots and lots of noise. Are you making sound with me? Ready? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, Clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. Stamp, stamp. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. Stamp, stamp. If you're happy and you know it, I really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. Stamp, stamp. If you're happy and you know it, say we are. We are. If you're happy and you know it, say we are. We are. If you're happy and you know it, I really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, say we are. We are. If you're happy. If you're happy and you know it, jump up high. If you're happy and you know it, touch the sky. If you're happy and you know it, I really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, jump up high. If you're happy and you know it, curl up small. If you're happy and you know it, make a ball. If you're happy and you know it, I really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, curl up small. If you're happy and you know it, sit back down. If you're happy and you know it, sit back down. If you're happy and you know it, I really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, sit back down. Well done. Now time for some good old wriggling. Wriggly worm, the worm at the bottom of the garden. Are we ready? There's a worm at the bottom of the garden, and all that he can do is wiggle all night and wiggle all day. Whatever else some people do say, a worm at the bottom of the garden, and his name is Wiggly Woo. And again, 
There's a wild like the bottom of the garden, and his name is Wiggly Woo. There's a wild like the bottom of the garden, and all that he can do is wiggle all night and wiggle all day. But all the world, some people do say there's a wild like the bottom of the garden, and his name is Wiggly. done and finally we'll do God is our father Well done everybody, time to pop the instruments away. So are all your instruments away? Are we ready for Louise to read us a story? And this month we're going to have this lovely story. It's called Commotion in the Ocean. And if you look through, you'll see so many different sea creatures. I wonder if you can count on every page how many you can find. Look at the beautiful octopus there. And what we're going to do for craft in a minute is we're going to make our very own little ocean scene. So enjoy the story with Louise and we'll have our craft together in a minute. Well, hi there everybody and welcome to another Tots Online. It's lovely to see you today. Right, today I'm going to read you a slightly longer book and it's called Commotion in the Ocean. There's a curious commotion at the bottom of the ocean. I think we ought to go and take a look. You'll find every sort of creature that lives beneath the sea swimming through the pages of this book. There are dolphins, whales and penguins. There are jellyfish and sharks. There's a turtle and a big white polar bear. But can you see the wrecks and in between the rocks? Let's see if we can find who's hiding there. Can you see on the picture who's hiding behind everything else? The crab. The crab likes walking sideways. And I think the reason why is to make himself look sneaky and pretend that he's a spy. There are turtles. We crawl up the beach from the water to bury our eggs on dry land. We lay a whole batch and then when they hatch, they scamper about in the sand. Look at all the tiny turtles, aren't there a lot? Dolphins. 
The wonderful thing about dolphins is hearing them trying to speak. But it's not, how do you do? Like I'd say to you, it's more of a click, whistle, squeak. Oh, beautiful angelfish. Hello, I'm the angelfish, darling. The prettiest thing in the sea. What a shame there are no other creatures as gorgeous and lovely as me. The jellyfish. The jellyfish just likes to jiggle. Can you jiggle in your seat? I expect lots of you can. Which other fish think is quite dumb? She knows that it's not at all that useful. But jiggling's very good fun. <gasps> A big shark. Look at the teeth. Have you got teeth sharp and pointy like that? I swim with a grin up to greet you. See how my jaws open wide. Why don't you come a bit closer? Please take a good look inside. Oh, it's a bit frightening. The swordfish, look, look at that long nose that he's got. I love to chase after small fishes. It stops me from getting too bored. And then, when I start feeling hungry, I skewer a few on my sword. Not a nice thought. The octopus, look. Having eight arms can be useful. You may think it looks a bit funny, but it helps me to hold all my children and tickle each one on the tummy. Stingray, they're wide and have sort of flappy wings, don't they? At the bottom of the ocean, the stingray flaps his wings. But don't you get too close to him, his tail really stings. And the lobsters look with their snappy claws. Never shake hands with a lobster. It isn't a wise thing to do with a clippity clap and a snippity snap. He would snip all your fingers in two. Oh, I'd hate to be without my fingers. Oh, deep down where it's dark, miles below the surface, where the water's dark and deep, live the most amazing creatures that you could ever meet. There are fish of all descriptions, of every shape and size. Some have giant pointy teeth and great big bulbous eyes. Some of them can walk around and balance on their fins. But the strangest fish of all have glowing whiskers on their chins. Oh, that sounds fun. The big blue whale, look how big he is. There's no other beast on the planet as big as the giant blue whale. He measures a massive 100 feet long from his head to the tip of his tail and look what's growing on him, some barnacles. Can you see them? We're just a bunch of barnacles and all we do is cling. We know it's not that glamorous but it's our favourite thing. And the walrus with a Big, long tusks. Our bodies are covered with blubber. And our tusks are incredibly long. We're grumpy and proud and we bellow out loud to show that we're mighty and strong. <gasps> Look, the penguins running and splashing in the water. We waddle about on our icebergs which makes our feet slither and slide. And when we get close to the water, we leap with a splosh off the side. And the polar bear. Deep out in the Arctic, the mummy polar bear snuggles up with all her children, as it's very cold out there. It is. <laughs> what 
what a lot of creatures we have seen beneath the sea. What a lot of funny things they do. Some of them might lick their lips and eat you in one bite and some might want to swim around with you. The dolphin's very friendly and the lobster's very fierce but the shark is the most dangerous by far. Can you name the other friends we've made along the way? See if you can tell me who they are. Can you remember the names of all the creatures that we looked at? The penguins, the polar bears, the angelfish, the walrus and all the other things. Can you remember? Perhaps next time we see each other you can tell me who you've remembered. But till then, take care and see you soon. Bye! So if you come to TOTS and you've given me your details, you should have received your craft pack for this month. And in it, you should find a piece of paper like this, a blue piece of paper. And this is going to become a lovely octopus like this, so that you could have real commotion in your own ocean with a beautiful octopus. So you may need an adult's help, but you need to cut up the dotted lines up to here and that will give you the lovely legs and then you can just twist them round each one round the end of your finger just to make them stick up a little bit and then you've got a little flap at the end pop your glue on the flap and you can just glue it round so it's all glued and then in your little bag of bits you should have two googly eyes so you should have a bag of bits and in there should be two googly eyes and you peel the back off and stick them to make your lovely octopus i wonder what you're going to call him or her i'm going to call mine octavia octavia the octopus so that's your first bit of craft and your second bit this is really fun here is your either it's a porthole looking out from a boat in which case you might want to put some little circles around it or it might just be like a little rock pool you looking down into it and this is how you make your rock pool so you've got a paper plate and you start with your paper plate and in your little bag you should have all sorts of sea creatures and you should also have some bits of green very Pop a bit of glue, put the bits of greenery for the sea plants and a tiny bit of glue at the bottom and you can add your real shells that are in your bag and then you can peel and stick all your sea creatures that you've got until you've got your lovely sea design like this. Can you see I've got a turtle and a fish and some real shells at the bottom and then these wriggly bits like sea plants and when you finish that you pop some glue all around the edge all around the edge there and you add your see-through circle so that makes it begin to look watery and then you pop some glue all around the edge again and finally you pop this on and that becomes your lovely little rock pool or your porthole and you might even add a string to the back of that so it could hang up somewhere so have great fun making these and maybe if you have some success pop the pictures of it on the whatsapp group or on the stebbing church facebook page have great fun with all of that bye for now